Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the 2021 Nissan Rogue S. This is the base trim, and I believe there's four trims you could choose from. There is the S, SV, SL, and the Platinum. And this one is the base trim, and honestly, it looks very good. But let me go ahead and show you all the features this one has. Under the hood, there is a 2.5 naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine. It is connected to a CVT transmission. This engine produces 181 horsepower and 181 pound-feet of torque. And the fuel economy numbers on this engine, 26 in the city, 33 highway, and 29 combined. Here is a MSRP sticker of this 2021 Nissan Rogue. If you guys are interested in the standard features this one has, just go ahead and pause the video. And the price on this one is 29000 so if you guys could spot the color, the color is called Super Black and it does look very good on this Nissan Rogue. And I really love the design of this Nissan Rogue. Again, guys, this is the S trim and uh, the S trim is the base trim. And honestly, it doesn't even look like a base trim. So I really like what Nissan did with the wheels on this Nissan Rogue. And I'm glad with what they did on the front side and back. It doesn't really look like a base trim coming to the front. I love the daytime running lights. They look very, very good. And uh, it does have halogen turn signal indicators. But I think if you go with the highest trim, you will get LED turn signal indicators. And for the high and low beams, they are LED, which is nice. And there is an opening right here on the side. And Nissan V-Motion grille is massive. And it is finished in chrome. The grille is finished in gloss black. And the Nissan logo it is big but it does have the sensor for the braking assist inside of it and in the bottom there's an opening to let air in to cool down the engine and uh, this whole thing right here in the bottom is finished in flat black and yeah overall guys i really love the design of this nissan rogue but but let's go ahead and move to the side and i'll show you the side view of this nissan rogue here is the side view of this Nissan Rogue S and it does look very good from the side. And as I said, guys, it doesn't even look like a base trim. So I'm really happy with the way how this S trim looks like. Anyways, it does have gray um, rims and I think it does go really good with this black color. And the size is 235, 65, 17. So there's a good amount of rubber and they're nice and wide. And uh, yeah, overall, I really like the design. The bottom window trims are finished in flat black the top is finished in chrome and uh, the mirror cap is finished in flat black and uh, the door handles uh, as well and uh, yeah overall I really like the design but let's go ahead and move to the back and I'll show you the back view of this Nissan Rogue S so here is the rear end of this Nissan Rogue and honestly the back looks good and uh, third brake light is located up there and I really like the spoiler does definitely add a nicer look but the side of the spoiler right here this is finished in flat black i really wish it was finished in gloss black but i think nissan is reserving that for their higher uh, trims for the tail lights design looks good and they do actually get extended into the quarter panel so they are definitely a long uh, tail lights and uh, not everything right here in the back is led so the running light is led turn signal indicators and the reverse are halogen here is the rear wiper and uh, Nissan logo is nice and big finished in chrome and Rogue is ran underneath it and uh, the Rogue letters are very very big so you could see it from far away all we drive badge is all the way to the right and uh, this S trim does actually have rear parking sensors which is very very nice and uh, for a base trim I really like that and uh, the bumper is actually finished all in flat black and the reflectors are in the bottom and the bottom portion of the bumper has a really nice design here is a key it does look right me and nissan been using this key for a really long time nissan logo is up top and uh, this key does have three binds on it lock unlock and panic bind and i really wish for thirty thousand that nissan added remote start on this base trim but uh, that's fine it does have a physical key inside of it and uh, to open the tailgate you have to unlock the suv and uh, that's where the tailgate release button is basically it's a rubber button and this lift gate is not automatic but seriously guys there is a ton of space inside of this in in the back of this uh nissan rogue and the opening of this trunk is very very big and uh there is this privacy cover that's locked in place. 
And uh, yeah, seriously guys, I'm very impressed with the uh, space. And right here on the left, there is a 12 volt. There is a storage place right here. And on the right, there is another storage place. So it's, there is some tie downs. And I think you could actually adjust the floor. So let me see if I actually could do that with one hand. Yeah, it's gonna be a little bit tough to do that with one hand. But underneath there is uh, the spare tire and the jack and the jack tools. Here is the front door panel, and the front door panel looks very good. I love the fact that the top portion is finished in brown, and uh, this whole thing right here is finished in cloth. Very nice and soft, and uh, the door handle is finished in flat black. Feels nice and solid, and uh, I love this trim right here. Window switches, mirror controls, everything looks high quality, and everything has a really nice sound and feel to it. Here is the armrest. It is wrapped in leather, nice and soft. Double stitching looks amazing. This is a plastic, which is expected. An okay storage place with a bottle holder, but I really wish that the storage place was a little bit bigger. And here is a speaker, and the seats are manual, but the seats are very, very comfortable. And uh, here is the seat handles or adjustments. But let's go ahead and move inside this Nissan Rogue, and I'll show you how it looks like from the inside. All right, so here is the interior of this 2021 Nissan Rogue. It does look very nice from the inside, and the uh, steering wheel has a really nice design to it. It is very, very thin. It is finished in that synthetic rubber material, and it does have flat bottom design, which I love. And right here, there is uh, some brushed aluminum, and uh, the engine of this uh, Nissan Rogue is very, very quiet. All the way to the left, there is the volume controls, a few controls to control that center screen, so you could go up and down. And uh, then you'll have the seek buttons right here, an OK button and a back button. And on the right is uh, the uh, cruise control and uh, there is the voice command and phone controls. And behind the steering wheel, there's some paddle shifters and they actually feel very nice and uh, solid. And for the gauges, they do look very good, very easy to read and understand. And uh, the font is nice and big. And on the left is the headlight controls with the turn signal controls. And on the right is the wiper controls for the front and back. And I really like this brown trim. I think it does look very good. AC vents look good. There's some brushed aluminum right here. And in the bottom does say, uh, does say Rogue, which is a really nice touch. And all the way in the bottom, there is the Brian's controls. And on the higher trims, there is a few buttons right here, I think for the tailgate release and other things. And here is the screen. It is an eight inch screen. It does have Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. And I honestly think the screen looks good and uh, it doesn't really block the view and it does have a volume knob and a tune knob and it is finished in gloss black but the surrounding is finished in brushed aluminum or chrome and uh, as i said there is a volume knob and a tune knob and hard buttons in the bottom brightness control you could go back to the menu by clicking the menu button and uh, there is a camera phone back button and i really like the stitching this is actually nice and soft super super soft and uh, in the bottom it does have the climate controls, of course, and um, does have one zone climate control. So the fan speed, uh, the fan speed is on the left. Temperature is on the right. Modes in the bottom, in the middle, and then there is the AC button. One USB and one USB C is right here. 12 volt, and that's where the engine start stop is. And a nice uh, phone holder right here. And uh, here is the transmission that will control the shifter that will control the CVT transmission. There's a button on the side. Push it to the front. That will put the SUV in reverse. Backup camera resolution is okay. It is nice and wide. And to put it in drive, push the button, move it to the back, slightly to the front for neutral. And here is the park button. Cup holders are nice and big, and I really like this trim. I think it does look very good. Brake hold, e-brake, and then you will have uh, some mode selector, uh, some uh, drive modes. There is off-road, snow, auto, and eco and there is a sport all the way in the bottom. And the armrest is nice and soft. And inside, there is a good amount of space. It is nice and deep. And up here, the rear view mirror looks all right. Nothing special about the rear view mirror. And uh, up here, there is some uh, halogen lights, button to turn on all the lights. And this uh, Rogue does have a good size um, glasses holder, which is nice. And for the visor, visor looks good. It is 
uh, actually very nice and uh, solid and there is a mirror it's a good size mirror I really wish it was a tiny bit bigger for the size of this visor uh, but there is a halogen light up there here is a backdoor panel and the backdoor panel has the same design as the front but this brown material right here is actually plastic not soft just like the front and uh, this is cloth very soft door handle feels the same as the front and uh, the armrest is wrapped in leather it is padded and uh, plastic in the bottom which is expected and there is a storage place in the bottom and for the back seats the back seats are very big so there is a good amount of leg room and headroom in this Nissan Rogue and uh, the armrest is finished in cloth very soft two cup holders they're nice and big and uh, right here there's two AC vents so I'm glad that Nissan put AC vents in the back and a big storage place in the bottom and that's how the front of this Nissan Rogue looks like I hope you guys enjoyed this review of this 2021 Nissan Rogue. I would like to thank Frank and Napoli Nissan here in Milford, Connecticut for providing me this Nissan Rogue S. If you guys are around and if you guys are interested, make sure to come check them out. I'm going to go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video. And if you guys would like to see more videos like this, please like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.